Well, we wanted to wait until we got our new audio and video equipment, but it's the Catskills, and this is like the warmest day we're going to have for probably like the rest of the year, so we're doing it today. Um, right now, the hydro setup is in its pretty basic state. You can see from the front shots of it spinning uh, under no load and load. Obviously, under no load, it's spinning quite faster. It's uh, producing about 40 volts and spinning about 1,500 RPMs. Uh, we don't know exactly what it's spinning under load, but obviously significantly less, probably 500 RPMs. It's right now charging this battery at approximately 1.8, 1.9 amps. And if we do the math times the voltage, which is charging at like 15.8 something volts, we get about 27.9 watts. And that's our total output. So it's putting out close to 30 watts out of um, a pretty, you know, minimal hydro setup. And that's continuous, so you, you do get pretty good power output. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't power the typical American home, but it could help your good, you know, micro house. Um, this is it in its state. Uh, we're going to show you a video of it with a covered, with a piece of plexiglass in the front, so it a little more refined, but the basic setup did work out pretty good. The cooler does house it quite nicely. It's a pretty sturdy for this minimal amount of power, and uh, it should provide a good basis for people experimenting with hydropower. You know, you don't have to go spend thousands of dollars to get your feet wet, so to speak. Uh, this just cost us, what, like $210, and we're uh, producing power and we're having a lot of fun. So. Uh, Tune in for the next video. We'll show a little more details and the finished, the lightly finished product. All right. See you next time.